Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to talk about my favorite favorites with you guys. So I'm just going to jump right into it so I don't ramble. So the two products I've really been loving this month has been the Nars Red and Creamy Concealer. One is in the shade Mande. That's the one. That's this one here, which is a little bit darker for my skin. And there's Caramel, which is actually my proper... <laughs> well it matches my skin much more better i love this for under eye concealing and to do very light um highlighting whereas um amanda is good for my dark blemishes which i'm sure you can't see now because it's covered it all i really like this they're pricey but i think they're absolutely worth it the next product i've really been loving has been this combination actually hmm. can't, can't find a third one but i featured this on my blog already this is the mac um lipstick in shy girl i actually got this like since last year but i barely used it because um i don't i don't really know how to work with it but it is absolutely amazing and it suits any kind of skin tone even if you're dark or light skin you're just trying to understand how you can work with it to give you the best results really so i always pair this with the maybelline's what's it called now? color sensational shine gloss which looks like this that's what i actually have on today so it's a perfect nude lip and i've been wearing it uh, so much the maybelline um shade is called coffee kiss so if you're interested i'll put all the details down below and also a blog post showing how i work with this next product up in the list is another product already featured on my blog already and it's the laura mercier eye canvas and this is what it looks like so it's essentially like um, an eye primer but it has some color to it so it kind of um it covers up any discoloration which you might have in your eyelids so some people's eyelids are darker mine isn't very much darker than my normal skin tone but you can see some discolorations on there so i just put this on top of um on top of it just before i put my eyeshadows and it's just amazing i don't use any primer anymore because this helps my eyeshadows last much more longer very easy to blend in and it doesn't crease at all like it's just amazing i got this from space nk sales and it was £5.50 it was a huge bargain I think this is actually the darkest shade because this is EC5 Tony and I don't think it's been made anymore because I searched for it online and I couldn't find it so maybe it's one of those products that have been discontinued but it's absolutely amazing with that I actually used this Daniel Sandler concealer brush which I think is one of the best I've tried for using this eye primer on my eyes it is really lovely it's so small so tiny it came in um this month's latest in beauty box and it's amazing i really like this next up is this eyeshadow palette <laughs> well it's actually urban decay eyeshadow i think this must be the book of shadows i can't remember which particular one i think it must be four or three i don't know but my sister got it for me as my birthday present not this year like <laughs> a few years back terrible but i never really used it so much because it was so bulky and it was pretty you know but i don't have so much space now and i really need to use those kind of eyeshadows because they're very bright and i love to use it during the weekend so i bought this um z palette kind of thing it's from it was from ebay so essentially i just deported all the eyeshadows and put them in here and there's a magnet here so it sticks and it's amazing like i love all the single colors <laughs> all the colors i said single colors all the colors in here if you can see i'll probably do a close-up but that's what i use for my eyeshadow and makeup application today i really like it it's beautiful and i'm so happy i put it in this palette because it means i can get more use out of this and as you know i've indicated eyeshadows are amazing so i've been using this mostly during the weekends and i love it next product i've really really been loving has been the mac 217 blending brush i've heard so much about this product <sighs> i said in like every single person i know owns this brush and I just kept putting it off because it was £19 and I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to buy one brush that's £19, that is too expensive. But when I went through Duty Free a few weeks back, it was cheaper. I mean, it was £15, maybe £15.80, which is not the cheapest, but I mean, it's much more better than spending almost £20 on a brush. But honestly, I think that's the best £15 I've ever spent in my life. It is so soft, it's so fluffy, it has so much control and it is the best blend brush I've ever, ever used in my entire life. And yeah, now I can see what the hype is, but it is amazing. <laughs> one of the fragrances I've been reaching for is this one from Fragrance Lab and it's a collaboration they did with um, Selfridges. It came in um, a set of three, but I really like this. It's not sold anymore, which is really sad, but it smells really, really amazing. And every time I don't know what kind of scent I need to wear, I just grab this because it smells, it smells really good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. 
but it does smell really really good it's amazing the other product i've really been loving has been two skincare products and it's one of them is the loose earl cleanse and polish hot cup cleanser longest name ever but it is really amazing i've heard so much about it i've actually used a couple of samples as well when i've been traveling i had like two little travel sizes which were really good but i decided to just buy the full size <laughs> once and for all and just try but it's seriously amazing it's so gentle even if you have sensitive skin it is amazing it removes my makeup really well but i don't really use it as a proper cleanser just because um i prefer to use a scrub as my second cleanse but as a first cleanse removing your makeup it's good it's even actually good with your eye makeup as well and i just love it it's beautiful and it has a pump so no waste second um one is just the other one i got with this and this is the lizelle's eye bright soothing eye lotion i actually got this from john lewis and they were having this as a free gift as well if you buy one of these as well as a few muslin cuts I, I think but yeah it was a good deal and this was just 15 pounds and this was free so yeah but i actually really like this look at this <gasps> i was just going to show you you probably can't see i'll do it close up but it doesn't come off like it's not lid you can remove but you have to twist it up and then some of the liquid comes out and then you put it on cutting pad this is really good some people use this to take the eye makeup i don't because it's just for eye, um light eye makeup what i use it for is just to soothe my eyes and honestly it works really well i thought it was a gimmick like what is eye bright but it really does i like it um last but not least i have two random favorites one is this necklace from um oh my clumsy hat so it's actually what i'm wearing now but i got it from um a fellow vlogger and i think it's the vlogger as well but she, um her store is called oh my clumsy hat and it's really nice because they have very uh, minimal jewelry and i just like her kind of jewelry or the jewelry that is, i find there the earrings the necklaces they're really simple and that's the kind of look i always like to go for i don't like bulky <laughs> jewelry and stuff like that this is so minimal very different and i really like it i got it um actually got it last month and i've been wearing it every single time and it makes this tiny little sound <laughs> but i like it i do i have also been loving this max and spencer acacia honey so random but i really like it i've never really used to like honey a lot because honey some types of honey are just so heavy and they're too sweet even though i know at least a bit healthier than normal sugar but this one is acacia honey and it's much more lighter it's a little bit more pricey i think it's about four pounds but honestly it is worth it and i've been using it every single time i still have this left i use it for breakfast for granola for yogurt i put in my pancakes instead of sugar and it's just amazing i love it so much and that brings me to the end of my february favorites i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one. Bye!